up you guys and welcome back to another video and I hope everyone's having a great day if you're not positive vibes abundance vibes to you if you are new welcome my name is Jai and welcome to my channel we are about to read well I'm about to tell you my my review on the bad boys for life um bear with me I don't remember everything even though I saw it yesterday about the movie I like, I, I really, really enjoy how it had balance. Balance. I say balance because each character, for instance, Mike and Marcus have their own good amount of scenes with each other. For instance, when Mike got shot, it was all about him and his scenes and his scene how can I say this favorite favorite from Marcus retiring because he almost got shot first of all the the first scene in the movie was <clears throat> they drive him so fast he said speed up he said go down which one which one to do uh so they're going fast you know I'm I'm thinking it's an emergency, driving all through, throughout the beach, and all of a sudden they stop, and their baby, they have the baby. Marcus, daughter, has a baby, and also by Reggie, which was seen, I think he was in the Bad Boys, I think he was in the second one. Y'all remember that scene when Marcus and Mike was on him, questioning him? That scene, uh, yeah, they had a baby. He's in the um, service army, I think. I wonder if he's really in the service. Yeah, so they go to the bar. After that, they go to the bar to celebrate. He, he, he being um, a grandpa and whatnot. And Marcus tells Mike he's ready to retire. He just had a, a grandson, you know, trying to settle down, you know. And Rita comes over, one of the detectives they work with. Um, they, they had, they had chemistry before, Mike and her, and, oh wait, yeah, and I'm just gonna fast forward, cause I'm just gonna, the events I remember, we're gonna fast forward it, we fast forward all the way to Mexico, I, somebody's in jail, this person, which her name is Isabel, she sent something in. Some bad word, not bad words, um, some evil stuff in tongue. <laughs> but it's in Spanish also. So she pulls out the knife, start cutting up like everybody, the whole, the whole inmate start um tearing her up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then after that, yada yada yada, everybody's going haywire. All the officers going haywire, like this. Like this woman is really smart. She knows she's doing. And by the way, she's she's in some stuff. But I'm gonna tell you that afterwards. Um. Then he said, like, my son, my son. The son comes. They they're planning to kill. Not they plan. They they are planning. They are planning to kill everyone who. I guess put um. His dad in jail. Her husband, quote unquote. So the list goes on, the list goes on. He kills one by one, one by one, one by one. The last one he wants to kill is Mike. But Mike and her have some history together, you know what I'm saying? So after that, um, there, they, well, I think when they went to the bar, this is when the, Mike got shot. Like I mentioned before, he got shot. Marcus crying. He goes to church crying, crying. I promise I never do violence. If you say my friend Mike, you know what I'm saying? Um, then six months later, this is another scene that got me. I think six months later, everybody's crying. Everybody's in distress. Oh my God, Mike didn't die. Turns out his daughter was getting married. So they, um, Jump the room, however, not jump the room. And Mike shares their um, mantra with them. Um, what was it? Oh my God, what was it? 
I don't remember. I'm not a big fan, but I just saw it yesterday. Um, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, it was, damn, I don't remember. Is it bad boys, rod scared to die scared or something like that? Something like that in, in those words. I'm going I'm to probably just pop it up in the um, thing. So yeah, that goes on by, and I'm trying to remember every event that I remember. Um, so, um, I guess Mike and Marcus, oh, yeah, 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 Mike questions Marcus about why is he retiring, and he didn't tell me, and Marcus is telling him, you just almost died, I got a grandson, you know, I'm trying to settle down, what about bad boys for life, you know what I'm saying, all this, so they... Not call it quits, but separate from each other for a moment. So Marcus just staying home the whole time. And just she relaxing at home, causing a ruckus. By the way, Martin Lawrence is so hilarious to me. He just always put a smile on my face, you know what I'm saying? And he breaks the fan. He's exercising. Mike is doing everything in his, his blood and power to find who's trying to kill him. He thinks it's this other guy that's doing about to do a heist. They go there. By the way, they meet. Marcus. Not Marcus. Mike is always trying to tell. No. <clears throat> Rita, who I mentioned, always trying to tell Mike, you can't do things alone. I know you're a bad boy, but you can't do things alone. They go meet up with their crew, which is, I think it was, I think I wrote it down. It was Kelly. I don't know how you call it, like the combat person, the assistant. Um, you got Dion. Dion, right? He's a computer tech and Rap, which is the, um, I guess the drone dude, I should say. Um... They bump heads up together, Raph and Mike and him. So fast forward, um, what happened next? Um, oh, a previous guy calls Marcus while he's at the spa with the baby. By the way, he's babysitting. His wife, which was played previous in the Bad Boys movie, goes to the spa. He calls Mike because he got some information. <laughs> Then afterwards, they drop the baby off. She's mad. They run. They book it. Then, fast forward again. They meet each other. The person who tried to kill Mike. They. Oh, wait. It was his. The guy who was trying to kill Mike. It was his partner's birthday. So they meet up, they catch him, but they try to catch him. Well, they did catch him, but it ended up, it ended up going this, it, it ended up going haywire. Comedic everywhere, everything. He, he gets a big boil, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm talking too fast, but I'm just trying to labor my word and not chalk, like, just get the permission out. Put the information out there. So yeah, he gets a boil. They ride in a two seater. What are those bikes called when it's on the on the side? Yeah, so um so Mike and Marcus are riding in the motorcycle trying to catch the guy that they caught, but he got away. God's partners showed up out of nowhere all of a sudden. A really not sure. From the guy who's trying to kill Mike comes out of nowhere. They separate. Mike almost kills Marcus. Marcus has been comedic the whole time. And the guy's partner gets on a helicopter with the ladder. Then Mike drops. Then the guy who's trying to... Armando. That's what I'm trying to say. Armando. Armando 
the guy who's trying to kill Mike, that's his name, is like, you need to move. I'm trying to kill this guy. And then he says, like he said, he said, F this. Bump, kill his partner. Mike jumps off. Everything. By the way, Marco is helping the mic on the way. You know what I'm saying? And fast forward. Um, Armando says something. Asla fuego. Then that triggers something in Mike's mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, then they trace the phone call. He says Asla fuego to the phone call. Then it comes back saying Hola Mike. And he you know exactly who this is. Isabella is a a friend he met in Mexico. Then it's he just tells that she's in the altar this. Saint I think it's called Santa Maria. Santa Maria. It's just basically dark dark magic. Mexican dark magic. And the whole time Mark is being comedic of oh, the whole time, you know what I'm saying? Then they go to Mexico. Then Mark was like, I'm not leaving out you, you know what I'm saying? And then it's about to be war. Not war, but so Mike Mika meets with Isabella. They have a conversation. Then they start fighting. Then mind you, the whole gang comes, who I mentioned, the tech dude, the assistant, and the drone dude. They all come. Rita also. Then. I'm going to just fast forward to the fighting part. So everybody's shooting. They, their side and their side. That uh. Mike's me up with Armando. Tell me I'm, I'm your father. He said, but he did. He just not trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Then when that, when they're fighting, Mark is fighting with Isabella. He just slashing them. You gonna look? Yeah, I'm like, Marcus, do not let this witch slash you up. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, Isabella comes. Then Armando's like, who is this man? She was like, no. It doesn't matter. He's nothing to you. Who is she? Who are you? You're my father. Then Marcus almost falls. Armando helps him up. And everything. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention. Isabella Alvin killed his son. Killed her son. Then she meant to kill Mike. But when she about to shoot Mike, Rita comes in and saves the day. Bop, 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 bop. It was so scary how she fell, and they saw they just showed the whole thing how she fell, how the afterwards. So that fast forward to that part, everything's all good, you know what I'm saying? They all kumbaya by the um, I guess they they're in Mike's place. They all kumbaya, yada yada yada, having a good old time. Then Mike surprises Marcus with a three day honeymoon, something like that, a, a getaway. While the baby parents on the honeymoon, he decided to watch the baby. That was so good. And yeah, and afterwards, um, Mike meets Armando in the jail. Even though it's so sad and pathetic how his mother basically used him for her revenge. And he wasn't that guy that they mentioned earlier, wasn't even his father. He was his father. And it just goes, hey, why from there? Yeah, so I really enjoyed Bad Boys Review. It is a must-go-see movie. Yeah, I really liked it. It's a must-go-see movie. It was perfecto. That's what I'm going to say. It's a must-go-see movie. Must-go-see movie. Like I said, I really enjoyed how they had that balance. How they had that, how should I say, seriousness and com com comedic. And how they... Balance each characters, Martin Lawrence characters and Will Smith characters, yeah. So I really enjoyed it. So tell me guys what you think about the movie. Have you seen the movie? And tell me what you think about it. So until next time. It's your life, do what you want and do it positively and gracefully. Peace. Bad boys.
What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? That man gonna come on for that. Cause I'm not.